unequal Wilkins on power divider. In the previous two videos, we have studied what mean by Wilkins on power divider, and we have presented the analysis of uh, Wilkins on power divider with equal uh, power division ratio. Uh, now we are going to present the basic idea of unequal Wilkins on power divider without proof, just uh, to understand that we can design a Wilkins on power divider with power division ratio uh, different from one. So assuming that uh, the power division ratio between port three to port two uh, equals k squared. So in this case, uh, the power divider will have different transmission line sections with different characteristic impedance. So instead of square root 2 z naught, here the characteristic impedance of the transmission line z naught 3, which is connected to port 3 here, it would be z naught multiplied by square root 1 plus k squared over k cubed where k squared is the power ratio between b3 over b2 and the characteristic impedance of the transmission line z02 would be k squared multiplied by z03 which actually from this relation can be represented as z0 multiplied by square root k multiplied by 1 plus k squared and in this case instead of the resistance is 2z0 the resistance between the two arms of the power divider in this case it would be r equals z naught multiplied by k plus 1 over k it should be noted here the output of uh, the unequal Wilkinson power divider will not be terminated to z naught in this case uh, the bar at board 2 will be terminated or will be matched to a transmission line section of characteristic impedance equal z naught multiplied by k and at board 3 it will be matched to a characteristic impedance equal z naught over k so effectively if we are interested to match it to a characteristic impedance z naught we should add here a, a matching network or for example lambda by 4 transformer between this bar to the part of z uh, If we make the ratio k equals 1, we return back to the original uh, equal Wilkinson power divider. So if k equals 1, we can find that z not 3 equals z not multiplied by 1 plus 1 over 1. So z not squared multiplied by square root 2. And z not 2, it would be z not multiplied by square root 1 plus 1 plus 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 so z naught square root 2 and the value of r would be z naught plus 1 uh, multiplied by 1 plus 1 over 1 would be 2 so it would be 2 z naught this means that the above results reduce to the equal split case when k equals 1 all right another point is that uh, the Wilkinson power divider, which we have studied with two board uh, bar division, uh, this two board bar division can also be generalized to n way Wilkinson power divider, such that we can divide the input uh, signal to n ways. Uh, in this case, uh, the transmission line sections should equal z naught multiplied by square root n. Once again, if n equals 2, we return back to the conventional Wilkinson power divider. And in this case, we have z naught connected to z naught connected to z naught from each transmission line section, and all of them are connected in one node like uh, this. Once again, if we are talking about just two branches, it would be z naught connected to z naught, which is two z naught here. All right. And uh, if we are talking about equal uh, division, so all of uh, the output lines will have the characteristic impedance z naught. That's what we are seeing. The Wilkinson bar divider can also be generalized to an n-way divider or combiner. 
uh, this circuit can be matched at all boards with isolation between all boards. All the output boards are isolated with respect to each other. A disadvantage, however, is the fact that the divider requires crossover. This crossover, crossover for resistors for n greater than three. Uh, this means that we should include some transmission lines uh, above uh, the power divider itself which makes the fabrication is difficult in planar form. Uh, finally, we should note that uh, even if we are talking about uh, equal power divider or an equal power divider or in a way Wilkinson power divider, all of this type of Wilkinson divider, they are based on transmission line sections equal lambda by uh, over 4. This means that uh, our design for Wilkinson power divider will be valid specifically for a center frequency where the wavelength equal lambda such that the transmission line equal lambda over 4. If the frequency deviates from the center frequency, the length of this transmission line section will be no longer to be lambda over 4. So the performance of the Wilkinson bar divider will deviate from its uh, original performance. Uh, thus, usually Wilkinson bar divider are very narrow band. To increase the band, like if we remember in the matching circuit in lambda over 4 transformer, we can make it uh, in steps. Instead of using just one step, we can use multi steps. So, Wilkinson bar divider can also made in step multi sections to increase the operating bandwidth. Because actually, if I'm talking about just lambda by 4, it will have very narrow bandwidth operation. Uh, by this end, we have completed our discussion about Wilkinson bar divider. Uh, in the next video, we are going to study some sort of directional coupler. Okay? Alright.